Howdy bro, today we'll go to talk about Dak Prescott. You played like absolute trash my. Boy let's get into it y'all there's so. Many things things wrong with this. Cowboys team and even after a bye week. They came out still looking like two. Packs of ass including number four. I've got to be straight with you, especially when it comes to Dak Prescott, our quarterback. Dak, you've shown us greatness before, but this season, it's been rough. I'm talking beyond the usual bad game here, bad game they've kinda rough. He's been struggling, and there's no sugarcoating it. I mean, we're coming off a bye week, and everyone expected the Cowboys to come back refreshed, right? But they came out against the 49ers looking like, well, not what we hoped. Dak was at the center of it, and I know there's a lot of frustration out there. We're all in this together, so stick with us to get the real scoop on what's happening with Dak and the Cowboys as a whole. By the way, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and join our Cowboys family. Let's hit that 12,000 subscriber goal together. Your support means the world. So, let's talk about this latest game against the 49ers. It's not just about being disappointed, it's about how this game went down. Yeah, the play calling is kinda stuck in the past. Some of these plays look like they're straight out of the 2000s, maybe even the 90s. But here's the thing, even with all that, Dak is not delivering on the field. It's frustrating because we've seen Dak perform at a top level before. We've seen him dig deep and make those gritty plays when it matters. But right now, he's not even hitting that top half of the league quarterback level. And you know we've got to keep it real here. This game against the 49ers? That one's on him. What do you all think? Is this just a rough patch for Dak, or are we seeing something deeper? Drop your thoughts in the comments, let's get a debate going down there. Now, sure, you could say, well, the scheme isn't helping him out. And yeah, I'll give you that. This offense is anything but quarterback friendly. Every little piece has to be just perfect. The route, the timing, the throw, all of it. If anything's off, well, we're not getting much more than a few yards. But even with that, Dak, you've got to rise above it, my guy. And let's be real, Cowboys Nation, every quarterback in the NFL has challenges. But a top quarterback finds a way to make it work. Dak's second interception in this game? You could see it coming from a mile away. We knew what play was coming, and if we knew, so did the defense. It's just not fooling anyone anymore. Don't forget to like this video if you're feeling as frustrated about these recent games as we are, and if you're new here, subscribe. We've got all the Cowboys insights you need, and we're closing in on 12,000 subscribers. Help us reach that milestone. So, let's address another thing. This isn't an emotional fan rant. This isn't us just venting because we're mad after a loss. This is us laying down the facts, backed up by stats, by what we're seeing on the field, and by the results we're all painfully aware of. Dax having one of the worst years of his career, and it's not just bad luck. You can see it in the numbers, you can see it on the field. And yeah, I'm not going to ignore that he's had some good moments, like his grit against the Pittsburgh Steelers. But consistency matters in the NFL. Right now, we're just not getting that from him. So here's a question for all you hardcore Cowboys fans. If we keep seeing these struggles from Dak, is it time to consider other options? Maybe it's time to think about a new approach or a new quarterback. Type yes if you think it's time to move on from Dak, or type no if you believe he'll bounce back. Now, another quick reminder, make sure you've subscribed to Cowboys News TV and have notifications turned on. It's the easiest way to keep up with every Cowboys game, every analysis, and every hot take. Plus, you're helping us grow our awesome community. Why is our offense so predictable? This scheme? It's demanding perfection in every move, and honestly, no team can perform like that every down. And why are we playing an offense that needs everything to be flawless just to get 5 or 6 yards? That's not how you win games in this league. Watching this game felt like watching the same plays we've seen forever. It's like the team forgot what worked last season and reverted to an outdated playbook.
But Deck, we can't blame it all on the scheme, right? You've got to step up. You've got to make those tough plays work for us. And don't get me started on Mike McCarthy. Is it time to look for new coaching talent? Maybe we need a fresh play caller, a different approach, something. Cowboys Nation, what do you think? Would a new coach or play caller make a difference, or is this on the players? Hit the comments with your take on that one. If you're enjoying this deep dive and the real talk about the Cowboys, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell. Your support keeps this channel going strong, and together, we're on our way to 12,000 subscribers. Every single one of you is helping us get there. Let's be honest, Cowboys Nation. Coming into this season, many of us believed in Dak Prescott. We've spent years defending him, arguing his accuracy, his leadership, and his ability to deliver. But after that last game against the 49ers, it's getting harder to stand behind him with the same confidence. The interceptions, the missed opportunities, they're becoming patterns, not exceptions. It's almost like watching a nightmare unfold on repeat, but this time, it's our franchise quarterback making costly mistakes. But here's the real kicker, it's not just that Dak's making mistakes, it's that he's making the very mistakes he swore he'd overcome. We're not just talking about a bad game here or there, we're talking about a string of games where he hasn't looked like the leader we need. There were moments in that 49ers game where he had the chance to stabilize things, to keep us in it. But instead, the interceptions kept coming, and each one felt like a nail in the coffin. For years, fans like us have backed Dak, haven't we? We've defended him to friends, family, and anyone who doubted him. We've argued that he's one of the most accurate guys in the league, that he has the arm and the heart to lead this team. But right now, Dak's making it pretty hard to stay in his corner. And here's the thing, it's not that we're abandoning him, it's that we're holding him accountable because that's what fans do when they care about their team. How many times have we gone to bat for him, saying, just wait, Dak's going to silence the doubters. And now, each of these mistakes feels like a slap in the face for every fan who's believed he could turn things around. Take that first interception in the 49ers game early on, we're deep in our own territory, and Dak forces a pass that ends up being an easy pick. It's one thing to take risks, but it's another to hand over momentum to the other team, especially so early. And then, when we finally managed a solid drive and put up points with a touchdown run, there was this glimmer of hope. But even then, it was painfully obvious that Dak was struggling. He wasn't out there commanding the field, he was out there surviving, and it was only a matter of time before another error came. We're all about constructive criticism here, and what we're seeing from Dak goes beyond just the occasional bad throw. It's a hesitation, a lack of confidence, and maybe even fear of making mistakes that's paralyzing him out there. And here's the frustrating part, Dak has shown us flashes of brilliance before. We've seen him run, take risks, and be the player we know he can be. But lately, it's like he's afraid to use the tools he has. Dak, if you're out there listening, we need to see you unleash everything you've got. This isn't the time to be holding back. If you have to use your legs, use them. If you need to scramble, scramble. Heck, look at other quarterbacks in the league. Those guys aren't afraid to step out of the pocket and make something happen. You're not Peyton Manning in the 2000s. You've got to bring a dynamic approach to your game if we're going to compete. We're watching other QBs, young guys, out there running for first downs, extending plays, finding ways to make it work, and we're left wondering, Dak, why can't you do that too? Cowboys Nation, drop a run DAK run in the comments if you agree. It's time for Dak to start moving again and play like he's got something to prove. I'll tell you, Cowboys Nation, this is hard to say. No one wants to call out their own quarterback. We're fans, after all. But there's a difference between supporting the team and being a blind loyalist. We're not here to look crazy defending poor play. We're here to call it like it is, and right now, Dak's play is letting the whole team down. We've seen what he's capable of, so it's all the more painful to watch him struggle, knowing that he's capable of so much more. It's not like we're jumping off the Dak train. He's still our quarterback, and we still want him to succeed. 
but the excuses have to stop and the results have to start showing. It's time for Dak to either step up and take accountability or sit down and let someone else try. Cowboys Nation, we want to hear from you. Drop it, get it together, DAK in the comments if you're ready to see our quarterback show some fire. And if you still believe he can turn it around, let us know by typing still believe. Let's make this a real conversation because as much as we're frustrated, we're also hopeful. We know what Dak can be, and we're here to push him to reach that potential. If you've been riding this roller coaster with us, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and join us in the comments. We're all in this together, through the highs, the lows, and everything in between. Let's hold each other accountable, just like we're holding our team accountable. This is Cowboys Nation, and we deserve a team that makes us proud.